Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I'm back yet again with, yes, another news update for you. I just got back from Las Vegas, attending the Licensing Expo 2023. Felt like I was there for about a week, no joke. I was only there for a couple days, but uh, yeah, had a lot of fun, especially at the Mondo booth. Now, if you're not familiar with Mondo, uh, they're always doing some crazy, fun, artistic stuff. Especially with Masters of the Universe, X-Men the Animated Series, Godzilla, everything and anything. Heck, even Adventure Time, right? Love this Wolverine right here. But we got a lot to get through, so I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit. Not too fast, of course. There'll be plenty of good looks at all the figures. But uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. So I headed into the Funko slash Mondo booth, and it was amazing. They are the standout of the show in terms of what they had on display. Licensing Expo is not like Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con. It's nothing like Toy Fair. It's more business, making deals, and making things for the future. But it lucked out because, yeah, Mondo had an amazing booth to actually showcase some of their upcoming works, including the brand new Skeletor. Now, this was on display. They had teased it. They also, of course, had Panthor. To see this up close is just amazing. What an art piece. A very expensive art piece, as a lot of people definitely like to point out. And yes, they definitely are. And of course, just a few days ago, it was finally unveiled. The whole shebang, right? This is going to be their new Masters of the Universe Skeletor Deluxe 1-6 scale timed edition, right? So it's going to set you back about 260 bucks. but there's a lot in the box. If you've never had a Mondo figure, the detail. These are not action figures, quote-unquote. These are highly detailed, highly stylized, just to the nines art pieces, and they encompass every detail of of what you expect from the characters that they tackle. I mean, just look at Skeletor right here. The artist for this, Emiliano Santalucia, Florian Bertmer, Mark Bristow, Nolan Fleming, Tommy Hodges. This will be a timed edition, right? So it goes up for sale on June 20th, and the pre-order will last through June 30th. So again, you have a little bit of time, 260 bucks. And it's just amazing. No, Panthor is not included. You're just getting Skeletor. But you're getting so many pieces and things. And they really just know what they're doing with Masters of the Universe. And just in general, right? So you have this giant Panthor <laughs> that is just decked out. And now you got this huge honking Skeletor with all this paint detail and all the different inner swappable faces. And that's... That's what I really want to see with, not to say toys, but just a presence on my toy shelf in my office. Something that when people walk in, they go, what the heck is that? That is amazing. So you get cloth cape, and you get interchangeable heads, and you get the little dragon, and every single parts and piece that you think of that you would want to kind of customize your own version of Skeletor, heck, even on a daily basis... Uh, yeah, they have definitely given you those options, which, again, is perfection and probably the last Skeletor you'll ever need until they come out with the next Skeletor, right? That's always the whole situation, but they had a lot of their previously revealed Motu figures like Hordak, and they also had Scareglow, which, hey, they all look great together. I only have, what do I have? I have Merman, right? And he looks awesome as it is. Oh, no, no, wait, I take it back. I have He-Man too. I totally forgot. <laughs> I actually have their newest He-Man, which, yeah, they did a bit of a goof, but they fixed it. They sent out new parts and pieces. There's old Merman right there. It's nice to see. The the Sofubi version of that Merman is beautiful. I love when they do those stylized versions. They also had Trapjaw, who was previously revealed at the, was it last year's Designer Con, or was it this year? Who knows, right? Been in Vegas, nothing makes sense anymore. But again, you see the details, the paint, everything looks fantastic on these. And the time and the energy they put into these things really does show. It's amazing, right? From the blue skin of Trapjaw to the beauty of their new She-Ra figure, which has shipped out. 
she looks fantastic. It was really fun to see her on display, right? Holding her sword and shield. It just looks good. And I love how they scale together. You can't really do this amount of detail when you have smaller, let's say, 112 scale action figures or the seven inch action figures like Mattel does. This is when you can really get heavy duty. The He-Man, like I said, a lot of issues with this one, but they sent out replacement parts and pieces and it seems to have uh, fixed the situation. So that's pretty good to see. But yeah, the He-Man looks amazing. And again, it's the swappable parts, the pieces, everything that you can achieve and really kind of create your own version of He-Man. But the big mamma jamma here was the reveal of Beast Man. Now, this is a 1-6 scale Beast Man. It was sculpted by May Thamterana. You can check him out on Instagram at May Shelf. And of course, a dozen other people from Mondo that worked on this. But what a presence this was. This was like, you saw this from afar when you walked into the booth. You're like, whoa, what is that thing right there? Beast Man, painted the nines. He's got a little bit of a cloth goods to him. He's got all kinds of weapons hanging off his giant golden belts. He's got spikes galore. The fur is awesome. The weapons, the hands, everything's painted. The fingernails are painted. The toenails are painted. That's what's nice to see. Even the armor in a weird way, it has this kind of cell shading look to it, which looks great in some lights, right? That just looks amazing. The head itself, the paint, the blue, the white, stellar. Now, not a whole lot of details for this guy just yet. Just treat it as, here's a little bit of a tease, and he will be coming soon. So look for more details from Mondo. But here's all the information, prototype shown, pending license or approval, all that jazz. So expect an announcement coming soon, we'll just say. Now, you get to see all of the Master of the Universe that they had on display here. Well, that's not the only thing that they had on display, right? So they had a bunch of their upcoming Godzilla toys. I should say art pieces, right? I keep wanting to say toys, but things that have been revealed, things that uh, have not yet come out, things that are possibly coming soon, right? As we'll soon see. But just to kind of see, and this was... Really fun to stand there and watch all these business people freak out and geek out over this McCready figure. This is amazing. This is stellar. I wouldn't mind owning one of these. I'm just going to say, I like my NECA one. I can't go too crazy all the time. But just the McCready figure with all the different things, it's gross, it's disgusting. You have the Megan figure, which I totally watched this guy lose his mind over this. This was really funny to see. But even I, looking at it, I'm like, that is terrifying. I mean, they've captured it perfectly. And then you have They Live as well, which is awesome. You got the creature from the Black Lagoon. Looks awesome as well. They're doing a stellar job. Now, this is Peter Santamaria from the Mondo team, and he was showing off his new Mechagodzilla based on his artwork using Toho and all the Godzilla designs, Mechagodzilla. So this was brought to life by Hector Arce and Tupan Setzer and utilizing Peter's artwork. And I think that it looks fantastic. So prototype shown, soft vinyl figure. Look for more details on this coming soon as with the Juggernaut. Now again, Beast Man was one of those where you're like, what is that? And then, of course, Juggernaut at the top shelf. Now, this is a soft vinyl figure, right? Look for more details on that soon as well. But think of it as just a soft vinyl Marvel series. Perhaps we will see more later on. The detail, the sculpt, the sheer size of the Juggernaut is ever present and he looks amazing he's painted beautifully so another avenue for some of you out there and just to kind of show you the size he's not affiliated with x-men the animated series but he definitely towers over most of them now this was a fun one in all the reveals mass universe godzilla juggernaut all that jazz they're doing more x-men the animated series and it was really fun came to me and said hey why don't you post about this that'll be awesome so here's a little sneak peek of the Logan figure from X-Men the Animated Series, which I was happy to oblige because this looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of their X-Men the Animated Series, one six scale collection. It is every bit, everything I've always wanted to see from an X-Men the Animated Series figure. Now, I did see the comments. A lot of people were thinking, well, why does he have the claws popping out of his hands? He doesn't have his gloves on. Rest assured, 
X-Men the Animated Series, you're going to have to go back and watch it. He had it when he had the gloves on, and Logan had it when he had the gloves off. They're part of his adamantium skeleton in the comics. This is not the movie, and I think a lot of people are confusing it with that, or they just have never seen X-Men the Animated Series, and we're just kind of drawing conclusions. Now, in some cases with the show, continuity and all that jazz being what it was back in the day, sometimes he had them. Sometimes he didn't when he didn't have the gloves off. But yes, in X-Men the Animated Series, he always has the metal rod thing sticking out the top of his hands. They don't come out between his fingers like in the movie. The paint on this is amazing. The yellows, the brown jackets. There will be more details coming soon. Trust me on that. I think you're going to want this. This will be a San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive but that's all I can say right now. Just wait for more details coming soon from Mondo themselves. But I think you're going to like this one. This one is pretty darn cool for what they got a coming. So they did have some Batman the Animated Series on display. Ones that we've already seen. Ones that have been revealed. Mr. Freeze, Batman, Joker. Another fantastic line. Highly recommend it. They got some cool stuff coming for that as well. Again, always wait for Mondo for the official reveals. But I got to say, they are on the expensive side. But that is what they're going for. They're going for super highly detailed, highly just deep cut throwbacks. And they just know what they're doing. They watch every inch of these old cartoons they pull it out like nobody's business, right? They're like NECA with the cartoon TMNT, and that's what I want to see. That's why I love the cartoon TMNT line by NECA Toys, the Mirage line by NECA Toys. They know they're turtles through and through, and Mondo knows Batman the Animated Series, X-Men the Animated Series, Masters of the Universe, Godzilla, like you name it. They do their homework. Look at the McCready figure, right? Megan, all the horror stuff. It looks amazing. So, look for more on X-Men the Animated Series, right? Very stoked on that. Magneto, Gambit, right? That's coming soon. Harley Quinn was on display. She looked great. She had her two hyenas, right? So, if you order that, I think you'll be very happy. She's going to go well with Batman and all that jazz. So, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I will post more for Licensing Expo. Like I said, this was the big reveal. This is what we could talk about. This is what we could show off for now. But a lot of the booths was just people making deals. It's not that type of show. It's very much the business side of things, which then in a couple months to years, you will see the fruits of all their labors. But in the meantime, thank you again for watching. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to X-Men, Batman, and all that jazz... Definitely hit up Mondo, because, uh, yeah, it's uh, freaking rad what they are doing. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.